Welcome to this quick control tutorial. My name is Noe Gutierrez and I'm the support engineer at Quicksilver Controls. In this video, I'll show you how to download your first program. We'll first start off with a simple requirement and then build along as we go. We'll first start with a new program by going to File, New Program File. And the first requirement is to move at 1000 counts in one second. So to do that, we'll add a move command by going to the Programs menu at line, we'll then click the move tab and we'll want to select the MRT command which is a move relative time base so go ahead and double click the MRT and we'll, we want a distance of a thousand counts, ramp time of 100 milliseconds, total time of a thousand milliseconds. So we'll go ahead and click OK and that adds the MRT command to our program. Now the MRT is added to line 2 because there's a default command of a, 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 an REM command on line one. The REM stands for remark. It allows us to add comments or remarks to the program uh, to make the program easier to read. So I'll go ahead and just type in a simple description. Move a thousand counts in one second. And you'll notice that remarks are in green and commands are in blue. So I'll download this one line move command to the controller by going, clicking the download button. You get a message saying that the program was downloaded, so we'll click OK. And to run the program, you can either cycle power to the controller or you can click the restart button. So I'll go ahead and click restart. And if you notice, the the position of the motor before the program ran was at uh, zero counts. As I hit restart, the motor ran to it's uh, to uh, it rotated 1,000 counts, and now it's at 1,003 counts. Now, after it moves 1,000 counts, we then want to move back 1,000 counts. So we'll add another MRT command. We will go to Programs at Line, double click the MRT. This time we want a distance of 1,000 counts. Ramp time, 100 milliseconds, and the total time, I'll set it to half a second. So we move, the second MRT moves the same distance, but in half the time. So I'll go ahead and add a remark to the, above the second MRT. So I'll go to, I'll click the uh, first MRT and go to programs add line. The add line will add a command below the current highlighted command. If I, uh, the insert line will add a command above the current highlighted command. I want to add the remark below the MRT command, so I'll go to Programs, Add Line. I'll click the uh, Remark tab and then type in my remark. So I'll move one, negative 1,000 counts in half second. So I'll click OK. So now I have two remarks and two motion commands. I'll go ahead and click the download slash restart. The download slash restart will download the program and will automatically run or restart the program. And as you can see the position, uh, it's back to zero. When the program runs, it'll move to position 1000 and then move back to position zero. So I'll click restart you can see the position go from 0 to 1000 and then back to 0. What we'll do next is uh, we want to then repeat these two commands. So we need to add a command that allows us to jump back to this first MRT. So what I'll do is I'll click the um, uh, MR, the second MRT to add a command below that and then I'll go to programs add line I'll go to the flow tab and I'll select the jump command the jump command uh, asks for a, an existing label or create a new one I'll go ahead and create a new one since no label exists currently in the program so I'll just type in loop click OK now I'll enter a label in my program so I want to jump to this first MRT, 
So I'll click the label column and just start typing in loop. So now the controller will jump back to this first MRT uh, once it gets to this uh, uh, jump command. So it'll keep running this loop or uh, indefinitely. Uh, there are no conditions that will exit um, or stop the loop from from jumping um, unless there's a, a jam on the motor um, or the power supply or uh, trips. Uh, the this loop will jump uh, indefinitely. So I'll go ahead and download the program. And when I download the program, you'll see the position go from zero to a thousand and then back to zero. And at this point, I want I like to introduce you to the our debug tool. Debug allows you to see what uh, commands are currently being. Uh, executed in, by the controller. To enable debug, you check this uh, debug checkbox and you'll see the current command that's running highlighted in yellow and uh, it's currently running in real-time trace so that's uh, that we can slow down the trace by clicking these uh, clicking the single step trace And we can also control the uh, advancement of the program by clicking this uh, single step break, which then we then we then can then control um, the advancement one line uh, at a time. So every, we would have to click on the single step break in order to advance to the next line. And as you can see here, it's uh, holding on line two. It's uh, currently in, in its initial position. As soon as I hit the single step break, it'll execute the MRT command and you'll see the position move to a thousand. There it is. Now it's waiting for uh, on the second MRT command to move back to negative a thousand, so it'll move back to its zero. And now it's waiting on this uh, jump command. So what I'll do is I'll set it back to real time trace. And as you can see, the since the program's uh, running indefinitely, our, our program state here is program run. So what, what I'll do is I'll get out of debug by unchecking it, and then I'll hit this uh, stop hand, and you'll see the state of the program go program stop. Now what I'll do to the, to the what I want to do after each move is add a delay command. So I'll click the MRT command, go to programs at line and under the flow tab I want the delay command. So I'll double click the delay command and I'll add a delay of one second for the first MRT move and then for the second MRT move I'll click the second MRT move programs at line delay. I'll add a two second delay and I'll go ahead and download restart Programs downloaded, and then I'll check debug. And uh, with the extended delays, there you'll see in real time trace the program um, pause for the length of the delay. This concludes the quick control training video. For questions or comments, email us at support at quickservercontrols.com and visit us at quickservercontrols.com for more information.